For this video, I'll be working for the Level 2 2018 Mechanics Exam, Question 3. Question 3. A water balloon is launched travelling horizontally a distance of 21 metres. The water balloon is in the air for 2.8 seconds. Calculate the horizontal velocity of the balloon. Um, so we'll just write down what we've got first. We have the time that is in flight. Time is equal to 2.8 seconds. And the horizontal distance. I'll just write horror distance, the horizontal distance is 21.0 meters, it just says it right there. In other words, velocity is equal to distance over time, 21 meters divided by uh, 2.8 seconds should give me 7.5 meters per second negative one. There we go. And maybe I should chuck in 7.50 because everything here is 3SF, not that that even matters. Right, next question. Show that the initial velocity for the water balloon of the water balloon is 15.6 metres per second. Right, so this is going to be, this is a merit question obviously, so you're going to do two steps for this one. The previous one was just achieved, that's a one step question. So the first thing we need to do is write down in, uh, right the air for 2.8 seconds um, we see that um, so 1.4 seconds to the top to top there we go so that's a key idea we're gonna look at the vertical velocity because we need to in order to find the initial velocity we need that's this velocity here we need to find we've already got the horizontal velocity we need to find the vertical velocity and the vertical velocity is easy well it's not easy but the way to find it is every second it decreases by 9.8 meters per second so if you times 9.8 by the vertical the how long it was took to get to the top you find its initial velocity but we'll do it algebraically and we'll do it neatly so vert velocity velocity um, right so our final velocity at the top is going to be zero because it stops turns around comes back down again it's pretty I think about the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second. Um, time to the top is going to be 1.4 seconds. In your formula sheet, there is only one formula. This one here that has all four letters that you're looking for, because you're trying to find the initial velocity. Um, so in other words, we'll write the formula VI equals V VF equals VI plus AT. In other words, the initial velocity is equal to the final velocity, which is zero, minus uh, AT, which is just going to give us zero, minus bracket negative 9.8, because gravity acts down, and we're looking at like positive direction, because we're using Cartesian coordinates, times 1.4, uh, and that is going to give me 13.72 metres per second, negative one. So this is where I'm going to draw a little diagram down below with a ruler, um, just so we can sort of see what's going on. We have... That is the horizontal velocity component. This is going to be the vertical component, which is going to be obviously more, because um, this is 13.72 meters per second, negative one. This is going to be 7.5 meters per second, negative one. So our initial velocity, just check it there. This is VI, and as we can see, it's a right angle triangle. We're going to use Pythagoras. We're going to go V is going to be equal to square root. 7.5 squared bracket around that plus oh, I don't even need to put that bracket in there 13.72 um, uh, squared and I put brackets around this because this is what you have to do in your calculator if you use a graphics calculator brackets around these things added together so it doesn't square root that and just add that non squared and that gives you 15.636 meters per second um, and then in other words V is equal to 15.6 meters per second negative one and that's 3SF because that's up there is three three everything is given a three the least amount is three not that it even matters but whatever um, and that is the launch velocity that is this velocity here you can work out this angle here using Sokotoa um, but it's not asking for it so don't worry about it right next question if the same water balloon was launched at the same initial velocity on planet X, where the acceleration due to gravity was 3.7 meters per second, would the water balloon go the same horizontal distance? Clearly explain your answer. Well, no, it wouldn't. 
um, it would go a whole lot further. If gravity is less, you can throw things further. If you're on the moon and you jump up, you can jump a whole lot higher. Um, that's not the moon. I'm pretty sure the moon has less gravity than that. I think that's Mars. I think Mars is 3.7. Um, so I'm going to pause the video, write the answer, and then discuss. Right, so what I've said is no, it would go further. On planet X, the balloon would take, and I've written the final velocity at the top of the flight. So I'm going to work out how long it's going to be in the air for. That's the point of what I'm going to try and do first. And then I'll times that by the horizontal velocity, and that'll give me the range. So how long is it in the air for? The initial vertical component is still going to be 13.7, which we just worked out. The new acceleration is going to be 3.7. So using that same formula, um, VF equals VI, uh, plus AT, you subtract both sides by VI and then divide by A and that'll give you time. VF minus VI divided by A equals time. Put in the numbers, negative 13.72 minus 3.7 equals 3.7? Huh, whatever. Two reach max height, that's a bit of a unique thing. Um, so it is in the air for, uh, for 7.4 seconds. Since the horizontal velocity is constant, it would travel and I just write distance is velocity times time. So horizontal distance, because we're looking at horizontal velocity, 7.5 times 7.4. And there's no acceleration in the horizontal distance. So we, we, horizontal directions, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, now give me 55.6 meters, which is further than 21. Sweet, we answer the question. Um, right, back on Earth, Jimmy wants to catch a water balloon. He stands 12.5 meters from the launch position and his hands are 1.1 meters above the top of the launcher. The water balloon is 35 degrees to the horizontal. The horizontal component of velocity is 10. Um, I'll just chuck that, or well, we'll just keep that note. Um, by first showing the vertical comp component of velocity is seven meters per second, determine if the water balloon will arrive at the right position for Jimmy to catch it, right? This is a three-step question, because first and foremost, we need to show for a start that the vertical component is that. Secondly, we need to figure out the time it takes to get to this height. Um, and then once we have that time, and take it back, we need a time it takes to get from here to here. We need to find the time it takes to go from here to here, and we use the horizontal velocity component to find that time. And then we just plug that time into the position formula, and that'll tell us our position at that time. It'll make sense as I go through it. So let's just figure out the vertical component of velocity first. Vert equals, we have the horizontal component, that is 10. So that is this component down here, I'll just check in here, 10 meters per second, negative one. We're trying to find this component here, question mark. We have the adjacent, that is the opposite. We'll write A, O means we need to use tan. Theta equals O over A which is going to be equal to the vert, the vertical component of velocity, divided by the horizontal. I'm just running on that like crazy messily. Um, in other words, if you times both sides by the horizontal velocity, we get, uh, I'm going to do it big actually, the velocity horizontal times tan theta is going to give us the velocity vertical. There we go. In other words, 10 tan 35, because that's the angle, is going to give us, and it does, 7 meters per second, negative 1. Cool. Right, now we need to find out how long it takes to go from here to here, so we can plug that time into our position formula, our vertical position formula. So it takes, um, let's put a comma there, distance over velocity gives me time, which is going to give me 12 Point 0.5 divided by, what's the horizontal velocity? 10 equals 1.25 seconds to reach Jimmy. Reach Jimmy, that's his name, pretty sure. Such a white person's name. Um, now, we want to know, what do we want to know? Write this in, want to know vertical position. Right. I'm going to short that, vert position, because that's what we're looking for. Um, so, at, I need to write this, um, time equal to 1.25.
So we have the initial vertical component of velocity, they've given it to us, is seven meters per second. We just calculated it as well. We showed, this is a show question as well, so you have to have this here, 10, 10, 35. And you should really have this here as well. Um, and you should probably have that there as well. A little bit messy, but whatever. Um, and acceleration is 9.8, because we're back on Earth, it stays up there, back on Earth. Uh, eight meters per second, negative one. Two, what am I doing, it's an acceleration. So, on your formula sheet, this here is displacement, but it can also be distance as well if you're just using speeds instead of velocities. In this case, we're using velocities, and really, well, displacement is a position. It tells you where something is in space. Um, it's a vector, so it has size and direction. Um, in this case, we're lucky, we're just dealing with the x direction, but we're looking for the size, and we're looking for where it is, not how far it's traveled. So this is gonna tell us d equals vit plus half at squared, which is gonna give us seven times 1.25 times 0 0.5, that is crazy messy, um, times 9.8, times 1.25 squared. And that is gonna give us 1.0937 meters. So probably he's gonna catch it. That's pretty close to 1.1. So we need to actually answer the question. I must have said probably, because you know, it's just a couple millimeters off. So it probably, probably, I don't actually know if they say spell probably. I'm not an English teacher, so that's why I suck at spelling. It will be the right height. If you didn't write this, chances are you wouldn't have got the mark, because it's asking us if the water balloon will arrive at the right, right position. So it'll probably be at the right height. Maybe I'll just put, he will, he will catch it. He will catch it. <laughs> 